hi everyone welcome to SciMath Academy in today's lesson I am going to show you that how to subtract decimals so there are certain rules for subtracting decimals we will take some example and solve these example using uh, these rules right so we will take an example 6.2 minus 2.1 right so first rule is that align the decimal point so 6.2 minus 2.1 now we will subtract this number after the decimal point just like whole numbers. So 2.1 is 1. Right, bring down the decimal point and 6 minus 2 is 4. So 6.2 minus 2.1 is equal to 4.1. Now let's take another example. 8.54 minus 7.32. Right. So again, we will use the same rule. 4 minus 2 is 2. 5 minus 3 is 2. And again, there are decimal fine. So bring down the decimal fine. And 8 minus 7 is 1. Right? So 8.54 minus 7.32 is equal to 1.22. Let's take another example in which we have to borrow some numbers from another one. Right? Just like 15. Point thirteen point nine two eight minus six point eight seven four. Right at minus four is four, and we cannot directly subtract seven from two, so we will borrow one number from nine. Right, the nine will become eight, and the two will become twelve. Right, so twelve minus seven is five, and eight minus eight is zero bring down the decimal point and subtract 6 from 15 which is equal to 9 so 15.928 minus 6.874 is equal to 9.054 now let's take another example in which we have to add 0 after the decimal point right so let's take this example 16.234 minus 12 right so we are subtracting a whole number from a decimal so we will put the decimal point right to the whole number and add 0 to the right of the decimal point so we will write 12 as 12.000 4 minus 0 as 4 3 minus 0 as 3 2 minus 0 as 2 and bring down the decimal point and 16 minus 12 as 4 Right, so 16.234 minus 12 is equal to 4.234. Now let's take another example and which there is no whole number, just like 0 0.273 minus 0 0.162. 3 minus 2 is 1, 7 minus 6 is 1, and 2 minus 1 is 1. Bring down the decimal point and 0 minus 0 is 0. Right, so 0 0.273 minus 0 0.162 is equal to 0 0.111. Now let's retake another example in which we have to borrow the numbers from the whole number. Just like 4.32 minus 2.43. Now here we see that we cannot directly subtract 3 from 2 and 4 from 3. And 4 is greater than 2. Right, so we will borrow 1 from 4 to 3 and 3 from 3 to 2. Right, so we will borrow 1 from 4 to 3 so that 4 will become 3 and 3 will become 13. Right, and the 13, when we borrow 1 from 13 to 2, the 13 will become 12 and the 2 will become 12. Right, so 12 minus 3 is 9, 12 minus 4 is 8. Right, bring down the decimal point and 3 minus 2 is 1. So 4.32 minus 4.43 is equal to 1.89. And here we were, I'm going to give you a question that you have to solve and write the answer in the comment section. Right, so 0 0.273 minus 0 0.162. Right, so solve this question and write its answer in the comment section.